So in this paper, I studied the effect of intergenerational externalities on sustainable growth. So the idea is that when we decide how much we're going to invest and use clean technologies, if we ignore the benefits of clean technologies for future generations, we might underinvest and underuse clean technologies and therefore reduce the chances to achieve sustainable growth. So I focus on the demand for clean technologies and the reason this is novel is because a lot of the previous work has focused on the technological possibilities. They have looked at what are the incentives to provide clean technologies and their effect for sustainable growth by looking at the transition from dirty to clean technologies. So what I do that is different to that is to instead of focusing on the supply for clean technologies, I focus on the demand for clean technologies. And the point I want to make is that technological possibilities do not guarantee implementation. So if we don't have incentives or if we ignore the benefits for future generations, we might under demand clean technologies and this has consequences for a sustainable growth. Some results that I find interesting are the following. So first I find that if we ignore the benefits for future generations, then we under invest in clean technologies and therefore in the long run environmental quality might degrade. This is probably no surprising result because we know the effect of externalities on the long run. However, what I do find that is I find more interesting is that previous work we always thought that the reason we have environmental problems is because we don't care enough about the environment. So what I find in this context is that the reason we might have environmental problems is not because we don't care about the environment, but because we might not care enough about our future generations. So the problem is not that we don't care about the quality of the environment, but that we ignore that the environment has an effect for future generations. We don't take that into account. So another result that I find this very interesting is the relationship between environmental quality and economic growth. So there is this common view that countries that are poorer, they should grow very fast now and do not invest in the environment today. What I find is that if that is the case, and we might come to a situation where in the long run, we could have negative economic growth and negative environmental quality. The intuition here is that if we grow very fast, then the environment gets worse and worse to the point that to avoid environmental catastrophe, we need to stop growing. So in the long run, we will be in a situation where we have environmental quality and economic growth, negative economic growth. And this implies that investing in clean technologies today is not only important for the environment, but it is also important for economic growth.